So thanks Adrian for having us here today. Could you maybe start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your business, please? Thank you. Um, so I'm Adrian Steele. I'm the Managing Director of Mercy and Labels. Uh, I've been with the business for just over 20 years now and we're a 53 year old business. 24-5 uh, manufacturing uh, and we operate in the Flexo and in the digital marketplace. Uh, our vision is to become a world-class manufacturer of labels. And we sort of saw that there was a really strong uh, digital printing technology uh, with CERM, um, the options to produce a software platform that had really solid uh, job information uh, together. That could then potentially link to a, uh, an automated lights out was the term that we started using back in 2016 um, uh, you know digital uh, you know finishing of those labels uh, before we get into the sort of the robotic packing but the, the key challenge as to why we came originally to the marketplace to find a solution was how do you take a um, a, a digitally printed reel which in our case as the type case for this project was 1000 meters 10 different jobs and within each of those 10 different jobs, there are 10 different sorts to give you 100 different sorts. And so you've got lots of die changes, uh, lamination, flexo changes, um, and different reel sizes. And how do you actually go and finish that in as automated way as possible? So we went to the marketplace, I talked to all of the major converters with this idea. I thought, how do we actually try and get there where that is that sort of lights out journey? And I think there was quite a lot of interest, but a lot of um, bemusement. And ABG were the only people who really gave me any um, conviction and belief that they thought that this could be done. Uh, and some of the technologies were available in 2016, um, but some key parts of those were not yet developed. And over the recent years, particularly challenging during COVID, of course, we've worked with ABG to uh, put all those parts together and develop crucially that software platform that's enabled the, uh, the ABG Connect, the JDF um, interface between CERM, our screen, uh, UV inkjet technologies, our Zycon um, uh, X800 integrations, and putting all those things together so that when we uh, process a job and we get that right, 100% accurate, 100% complete, that's that software paperless based um, job ticket then that is what we base all of our digital production and our digital finishing on so that we can end up with this finish reel. Amazing, amazing. So Adrian, what was unique about the solution? I think it is the um, ability to bring all of the finishing processes from a complicated digitally printed reel into one single line. So this as an automated solution enables us to, for the first time, uh, take a, uh, a digitally printed reel, which has no other finishing on it, and be able to do multiple different uh, varnishes on top of those, which are electronically um, uh, turned on and off, depending on how the job is, is set, um, to have very quick uh, die changes, to set the slitting widths of the web, and also for individual lanes, and turret those. And then critically, they're all inspected to the PDF using a golden template uh, image linked back to our CERM a file server where all of our um, PDFs are, are stored uh, and then turreting those onto unique reels. All of those are booked into stock and back out of stock um, using CERM. So it is a completely unique solution um, and it doesn't add anything in terms of um, this is a label quality or feature that has never been done before but that wasn't the real thrust of the project. This was about how much automation to take time out of the process and waste out of the process can you possibly get? Um, and that's been the real success of this project. The example that we normally give is where we're changing from one SKU, one product type to another one. We can do that without the machine stopping with three meters of web. And actually that three meters we use uh, as part of our 100% inspection, so we can take those labels and use them on the horizon system to inspect um, and replace those to get the highest quality out. So Adrian, could you maybe just tell us a little bit about the 
your experience with ABG to date, considering this is the first project you've, uh, you've done with our company? Yes, um, I think it's important when you are um, starting a research and development project that you are uh, deeply comfortable with the people that you're working with um, because research and development does take twists and turns and you often find yourself um, being wholly dependent on another partner uh, who is in a different industry um, with different priorities and we all need to work together in teamwork to achieve a certain goal and with ABG we found that uh, we've shared that vision and when we've got down to the crunch uh, ABG have produced the right amount of, of technical knowledge um, and support to enable us to uh, achieve this vision of automated finishing. I mean, it really is a revolution what we're trying to achieve. I think we've always been clear that ABG had the electromechanical um, ability, um, almost with its eyes shut, <clears throat> to produce the relevant parts here. What well, is really clever, and you've had to be completely dependent um, on ABG, is the software integration because so much of this project is about getting different uh, technologies and different, in this case, digital printing partners to talk to our ERP partner, to talk to our finishing partner. Um, and so you, you've had to have that huge amount of collaboration about that teamwork and about that trust. Uh, and we've been very comfortable with the support that we've had. There's no way we could have done this without sharing a, a, a real vision that automated finishing and labels can be done. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Adrian. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers.